Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Create Astral. So before we get into what I actually want to do this episode, I've got to talk about what happened in between episodes because I'm pretty mad at myself as I actually recorded an entire other episode in between these two. But when I went to put everything into OBS, not OBS, into DaVinci, uh, the audio file wasn't there. Um, it's gone. I can't find it. I don't know where it went. Fortunately enough, I do actually still have the footage from that episode, so before I get into this episode and what I really want to do, let's just take a quick look at what I was supposed to achieve in what would have been today's episode. So the first thing that I ended up doing was I set up four little basic machines and also tried to make them look as good as I possibly could. And these were just a regular mixer, a mechanical press that went into a basin, a mechanical press that goes onto a depot, and a millstone. Super easy, nothing too crazy there. The other thing, which would have been the focus of the episode, was making a small wheat farm. I ran out of food after the last episode, so I needed a source of food and Bread is super easy to get with Create, so I figured I'd just make a wheat farm. Normally I'd make it auto-craft into bread, but you need brass for that and I can't make that at the moment, so I kind of just had to make a system that would sort out the wheat from the seeds, and to do that, I did the same thing that I did on the andesite alloy generator and have crude storage units connected to a belt with andesite funnels that sort everything out separating the wheat seeds from the wheat. So yeah, there you have it. That's what would have happened in this episode if I didn't fucking lose the audio file. But in all honesty, it's kind of a good thing that that's not what we're doing because it means that I can actually do more in this episode than I had initially anticipated, which what I'm going to do is I am going to take a look down, where is it? This quest line up here, and we are going to focus on some of the more interesting tools with Tinker's Construct. First of all, I want to move this little setup over to next to all of our other machines, just because I want to have kind of a uniformity thing going on. So, just like that, we'll put it right there, and yeah, that's honestly perfect. We'll put the coal back in there, and this is exactly what we needed. So, what did I actually want to start with? Maybe let's start with making some real tools now. Format error. A tinker's anvil allows you to assemble tool parts into tools, much like the tinker station. Unlike the tinker station, you have access to fancier tools, 100% try crafting a mining hammer. I know I'm going to have to do that at some point. Or, I don't have to, but I want to. You'll also be able to apply certain upgrades only at a smithing anvil. Okay, how do we make that? So we can use bronze seared stone and a tinker station okay let's do that definitely gonna need some more tin because i'm pretty much out at this point i think i'm also gonna need zinc for something else i don't remember what but i'm pretty sure i need it so i might as well grab some anyway Okay, so now as you can see, we've got all that smelted up. I got the tin, I got like about a stack, which is what I needed. The zinc I actually needed for grout, which we turned into the seared stone, which we actually need for the special anvil, which is great. And also I got myself a ton of copper because we're also going to need that to make bronze. So first, let's hopefully make that anvil that I need. Uh, is it like this? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I forgot that I actually have to turn all of the tin into bronze first before I can do anything else. And I kind of fucked up a little because I had it turn into molten bronze, which is fine because I'm pretty sure if I put this in the floor, put the ingot cast like that, and then click it in, yeah, we can just make the ingots this way instead. It'll take a little longer, but that's fine. I don't really care that much. Okay, I do care, uh... A little bit. Hopefully we can just turn whatever is in here into ingots and then we can just go to the smithing table and do the rest like how I actually planned on doing it. And there we- I forgot how fucking loud that is. There we go. We've got enough bronze for what I want to do today. Actually, I think that's way more than- no. No, it's- it's uh, it's a perfect amount. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe putting it in there gave us some extras. I have no idea because I know I only had 50 something bra uh, tin ingots. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Now we can actually make that anvil that I need. I think it's like this. Yes, okay. Tinker's anvil. Perfect. What does it look like on the. Ooh. 
fancy. Okay, my question is, does it, like, go away? Does it go away when you're done? Like, uh, does it, is it like a regular anvil where it'll start breaking? I think that that actually goes in place of the tinker station, so I think we can put that right here. Yes! Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, okay. So, before we can actually move on to doing st other stuff with that, I don't know why it's not letting me complete this quest, because, like, I pick it up. I've done it. It's done. Hello? <laughs> okay, whatever. I, I honestly don't care. Um, so, what I need to do now is I'm going to make a bronze broad blade, bronze broad axe, and bronze hammer head. In order to do all of that... I firstly have to come to the part builder and make a stone hammerhead, stone broad blade, and stone broad axe. Then, if we go over here to the melter, and just like we did with the gold ingot cast, if we put the stone hammerhead in here, then click like this, it's going to turn into a gold hammer head gold cast. Yeah, and then we'll do the same thing with the broad blade and the broad axe as well. Now that we have these casts, we can actually start making some pretty cool stuff with them. If we look inside of here, let's say we want to make a broad blade. Ooh, that's stuff. Actually, we can make those out of iron. We can make that out of iron, have the bronze handle. We're chilling. We're, we're doing big things in this world right now. Oh, and here's how we make a normal sword. Nice. Okay. In all honesty, I think my quests are a little broken right now because I'm definitely making these and it's just not saying that I am. Let's try restarting the world and see what happens. Oh, there it goes. Haha, <laughs> okay, awesome, that's perfect. That means if we pick this up, it should complete that quest as well, maybe? Yes, okay, there we go, that's perfect. Now we can actually continue on with this whole thing. Which is perfect, because now we can make bronze versions of all of these. So the bronze ingots, I believe we're going to need 24 total. Because if we put the bronze blade cast in there, and let's say we put three bronze in like that, and then have it go into here, it actually needs eight total to make the blade. And with these last two, we'll be able to see that not only will it make the thing, but the gold cast is permanent, so it won't go away like it did when we made the stone thing. Look at that, bronze broad blade. Oh shoot, wait, that completed the quest on its own, and we got a, hey, we got a block of redstone, so I'm not complaining. But I do actually want to make the axe and the hammer as well anyways. And there, now as you can see, we've got ourselves the three bronze heads, we've got the gold casts, but because of all the stuff that we're actually going to be doing today, because I want to make the sword, we're also going to need casts for whatever it's called, um, tough handles, large plates, round plates, tool bindings, a pickaxe head, tool handles, and I'll also make repair kits because I think that's what we can use to actually repair the durability of our tools so they don't run out. But just like everything else, we've got to put the stuff on the table and then put the gold in there and have it make a cast for us. And look at that, we have all 10 of the casts that I'm going to need for today. So, if we look in here, if I go to the broad blade, you can see that this one is going to require the blade, which we have, as well as a large plate, and then two of the tough goal, or the tough handles. I think I'm going to make everything else out of iron, because I have a decent amount of it right now. And I just, honestly, I really just want to see, like how that'll affect the tool and like what the durability is and what the damage will be. I'm very interested to see. All of this stuff is like super cool. I went over it like a little bit. Oh, we need a lot of iron, don't we? Oh, well. well what was I going to say? I know a lot of this stuff is super cool. I went over it a little bit when I was playing all the mods 7, but I think that like now I'm really diving into it and it's like really cool to see what it's actually all about okay but if i put this in here and then i put the sturdy handles here and here ooh, whoa okay that's actually a lot of look at the damage on that <gasps> what the fuck this is so cool oh my god it's huge holy shit it's fucking huge this is oh my god this is crazy <laughs> this thing is 
awesome. <laughs> this is amazing. For the next thing that I want to make, which is going to be this axe type thing. Thing. I honestly have no idea what it is. We have the bronze axe head. I have a tough handle right here. I'm going to make this bonding thing out of iron as well, but I want to make the pickaxe head out of copper. I want to I wanna see what that does. I'm very interested in like mixing metals and testing things out like that. Can I use emerald? Ooh, what if I make the bonding thing at the top out of emerald? Can I do that? I have no fucking clue. We're going to find out. Can I even melt emerald? That's the, uh, that's the real question here. I can. So does that mean I can use that to make the tool binding? No, I can't. Oh, crap, I can't. Uh, that just means I have emerald in here that I can't do anything with. God fucking damn it. I gotta get rid of this now, which kind of sucks. But it's good to know. We can't, we can't make the thing out of emerald. I do know that I can make it out of iron, though, so that's good. And then if we put all these together, we get... That's a fuck ton of durability. 12 attack damage? What is maintained? What is maintained? It's equivalent to diamond. So that's fucking cool, I guess. Does it chop trees fast? Oh, it chops the whole tree down. Oh, that's fucking cool. And the durability is huge. It's got 2,000 durability. Yeah, if I were to make a normal iron axe with this, it would have three almost just about 400 durability so that's kind of crazy we're gonna we're gonna what is what is that sledgehammer broad mining tool harvest blocks in a wide range yeah we're gonna make the vein hammer Ooh, okay we can actually make uh the vein hammer and the sledgehammer but we're gonna do um the vein hammer first so for the vein hammer i actually think i'm gonna fuck around a little bit and try it with <laughs> bronze iron copper vein hammer that's crazy okay so this is at the equivalent of diamonds so this can vein mine diamond we can finally fucking get diamonds we're probably going to do that at the end of this episode which what what is abilities what is abilities i don't even fucking care yeah no uh give me that okay now my question is if i put that in here and then we take our singular diamond that I have and put it in there. What? What the fuck is that durability? That doubled the durability. That actually fucking doubled it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. This is fucking crazy. This is just a, nor a pick adds. It's a versatile mining tool. It is effective on rock, dirt, sand, and gravel, but is not sharp enough to mine tougher stone like many ores. Okay. What if we make one of these out of iron? Let's try this real quick. Okay, so we got the pick adds, which that's decent dur durability, I, I guess. If we put it in here with a diamond, okay, that is, the fucking durability is crazy. It can't, it can't even mine diamonds with that. What? That's crazy. Hold on, hold on. I'm very confused. Let's say we put lapis in here. What is, what does that do? killager one what the fuck is killager i don't know this is uh this is weird it is kind of crazy that if i take what if i take my sword and add a diamond attack damage goes up and the durability goes up to 4.3k yeah sure that's crazy oh my god <laughs> holy crap uh wait it says i can use redstone ow wait 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 uh, give me that. All right, ready? <laughs> That's crazy. This thing is amazing. And it has haste, which means it's faster now, I think. Ooh, let's, there's pillagers over here. Let's eat and then test that out. <laughs> no fucking way. This thing is crazy. The range is insane. <laughs> what if I had an emerald <laughs> now? Does it do anything? Need at least one upgrade slot to add this modifier. Is there more levels to this anvil? I don't think so. But that's fine. We're doing some pretty cool shit with it already. The fact that these are uh, these can break diamond is kind of crazy to me, considering it's made out of, like, bronze and copper and iron. But what was the next thing I wanted to make? I wanted to make... Uh, a normal pickaxe. I already did that, though. Um, so, I think, honestly, this is as much stuff as I want. We've got these crazy tools now, which are going to probably last me for a while, considering how 
much fucking durability these things have. Actually, hold on. What if we add an emerald? How much? Uh, dang. A thousand durability increase? That's fucking crazy. These, these tools are looking absolutely insane right now. But I'd like to put all of my stuff away now. Actually, first, I want to turn these iron bars back into an iron ingot because that's just a waste to have them like that. And then I think I would like to go up this quest line right here, which requires us to get uh, a, a lot of diamonds. Actually, you know what? Four blocks isn't that... Ooh, 64 blocks of lapis is a lot. That's fine. We have some lapis already. We can turn that into blocks. But... We'll definitely need more, so let's head down into the mines and start on that journey. I should also probably make some new armor before I go, considering that mine is uh, pretty- m Oh no, it is very non-existent, oh my god. That's much better. I think that's similar to the last time that I tried to go mining for a long time. I'm gonna go away, go as far away as I possibly can and find a cave somewhere else, just so that I don't deplete the resources in the area around me, just in case I really need to go mining here. Real quick, I want to test out this vein miner, see if it really works properly. Okay, it's a little slow, but uh, yeah, no, that uh, that works. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh, oh, cave, go down, please. Oh, it's going to be a dead end, isn't it? Actually, there's a decent amount of ores and stuff in here. Let's grab those. Maybe this cave does actually lead somewhere. Kind of looks like that's a lot of creepers. Kind of looks like it. Or maybe not. Okay. I will say, though, Vein Miner is extremely useful. Like, look at this. Break this. It breaks, like, most of this vein right here. That's crazy. Even if that is cool, there's not much in this cave for me, so I have to go off and find another one. Wait, hold on. I'm seeing a rather large cave on my map. Maybe we try and go in that direction. Ooh, big cave. Hello. Run over him. Ooh. Now... We can explore this huge fucking cave, hello. I just need to get deep enough for diamonds. I also want to grab any iron or any other ores that I find down here. Please let me find diamonds down here, even if it's just one. Actually, hold on. We can finish that first quest right now. Just got to make some blue dye, and there we go. Okay, the next quest, we need a diamond. The next quest after that, we need a diamond block. Uh, why is it saying fortune? Oh, diamond, hello. Let's vein mine this. Hopefully there's more than one. It's probably only going to be one, though. Yep. Hooray. So, my question is, it says that the diamond is used for fortune. Is that what luck is? No, because luck goes on pants. Luckier. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, That's fine. We're just going to keep mining for a bit. Hopefully find some more diamonds. And if we do, then we'll take them back up to the... Ooh! <gasps> wow, that scared the shit out of me. Hello. I just realized that I had my favorite shader pack setting, glowing ores, off this entire time. So uh, maybe, hopefully that'll help things a little bit. You can... <laughs> yeah, even just looking down here, it's, it's much more glowy. Yeah, I would have never seen this lapis, or that lapis, or that lapis. Yeah, this is uh, hopefully going to make this part a little bit easier. At first, I'd kind of thought that the texture pack that everything is using was fucking up that feature, but uh, I guess it was just kind of turned off, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flick it back on, because I actually really like that feature. I think it's really cool looking. How many diamond blocks did I need again? Four. Okay, this, ooh, this might take a little bit of time. I really don't want to suggest this, but I feel like the best way that we're going to get, like, a lot of diamonds is vein mining. I really don't want to, but we might have to, because going through caves like this, while it is very cool, is incredibly just not efficient when it comes to finding diamonds. So, yeah, I ended up going mining for a pretty decent amount of time. I think I said at the end of this, like, four hours, but I don't think it was actually four hours. I think it was closer to, like, two and a half, maybe three. That's even pushing it. But we got a lot of stuff, as you'll see, and I'm very, very happy with the progress that I made. All right, and if you look here, <laughs> I ran out of torches a long time ago, but... I did get a decent amount of stuff. I didn't get all of the lapis that I wanted to get, so we're going to get that really quickly, but I wanted to end the time lapse because I got enough diamonds. I needed, I think, a total of 36. We got 38, so we're totally fine. At one point during that, because I didn't record the entire thing because I mined for like 
four hours and I just did not want that footage. Um, I went home and I upgraded my pickaxe and now it has almost three times the amount of durability. So that's crazy. But now I want to get back into the big cave because that way we can see Lapis easier and we can gather the rest of what we actually need. Oh, it's always a wonderful day when you find more diamonds. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, Lapis, I don't know why it seems to be a little bit rare. Maybe I'll find some in this mine shaft. Ooh, or in this huge cave right here. Maybe this mine shaft will have some, or maybe we'll have, ooh, big cave. Holy shit. Oh my god. Diamonds, hello. I know there's Lapis around. But, Jesus fucking Christ, that's a creeper, and this place is huge! There is definitely gonna be enough lapis in this huge-ass cave. This is a crazy find! This place looks insane! In all honesty, I think I'm gonna make a waypoint for this thing, because this is- I cannot just, like, leave this forever. Because there's so much stuff in here, this is gonna last me a long, long time. I can also pretty much guarantee the fact that there is going to be enough lapis in this cave to get me literally everything that I need, probably for the rest of this series, in all honesty. I'll just have to come back a couple times. Oh, there we go. Ha, I did not expect that to be the uh, last thing of lapis that we needed, but we got that, and we even have a little bit of extra, which means now... I can finally start to make my way back up to the surface, and then we can go back home. But first, I'd like to get this diamond. Okay, so now that we're back home, I'd like to get some stuff smelting, and then after that, we can actually turn all of these into the diamond blocks that we're going to need for this quest, if the quest actually works. Uh, we need a diamond block as well as... There we go. Okay. So that actually completed both quests, and this this quest up here gives us some some interesting interesting rewards. I don't know what this is. Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do I have a flopper? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What is happening? And then we got the dog, which um. Funny, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. That's ridiculous. Oh, does the floppa just lay on my bed? That, uh, that's, that's cool, I guess. We, we have a floppa now, and we also have a dog. But now what I'm actually more interested in is the fact that it says that we can upgrade this thing to uh to have some some stuff and i and i don't i don't know how i don't i don't know how oh wait a second hold on is it this yes okay so that's luck then the next level is four blocks of lapis and a diamond like this then it's a block of diamond and four, like that, which gives us luckiest. And then can we keep, can we keep going? Luck level cannot be above three. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So this last one was, was literally just to get the floppa and the boom dog, which is great. So now this thing has luckiest on it, I think that's what it was called, but... What I can also do, I think, no, no, I fucking put that on my axe, why did I do that, it's fine, we can put that on my, we can put, we can put that on my vein miner too. So it was the four blocks like this first, then it was the single diamond and the blocks like this, and then it was the block of diamond like that. Okay, and then, question, if I put a diamond, in uh in the thing can i make the durability better i can i can make it seven thousand i think i will do that and now it has luckiest as well 
which I'm still not 100% sure what that does. I think it's the equivalent of fortune. If it is, that's great, because I always need fortune. So now I'd like to make some repair kits so I can fully heal back up my tools. And now that we've not only organized our inventory and gotten everything back up to full durability, but we also smelted most of the stuff that we got today. Some of the stuff is still in here smelting. But with that, I think I'm going to end the episode here. God, this thing looks absolutely insane. There are ways to add more modifiers. Like, I really want to add haste to it, which is used redstone. But... I ran out of upgrade slots because we have diamond, emerald, and I believe it is... Oh god, what's the other one I add? The fortune. That's what I added. And I found out that that works with mobs too, so it's not only fortune, but looting as well, which is kind of crazy. But eventually we'll be able to upgrade, hopefully, I don't know, because we need gas tiers because the first upgrade requires, uh, what's it called? Fucking end crystal. Second one requires a book and quill. And the third one requires a golden apple. The golden apple one has a one downside to it. I honestly don't remember what it is because I literally just looked it up, but I immediately forgot. But like I said, I'm going to end the episode here. We did a lot today. These new tools are absolutely insane looking, especially this, this sword. It's just, just, it's fucking huge. It's huge. It's so cool, though. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe as it really does help out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.